Chuck. Yes. I got a fast one for you. All righty. This one is going to be about wheels. I'm going to say, uh, I'll say a bit pedestrian for you. <laughs> Just... Okay. <laughs> Would it be any more pedestrian than water towers? Ooh, that good is, point. Is, is Only our went fixed. viral. Still the most popular one of these that we've done, I think. Would have never thought that one would have landed the way it couple, did. A couple so. million people were just like, water towers, man. <laughs> got to know about the water towers. <laughs> this is amazing. You got like five, five million views. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's right. Oh, my God, water towers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe you, the wheels will do the same thing. You ready? Okay. okay. Did you know? that if you're driving down the road pick a speed 60 miles an hour nah that ain't me <laughs> oh okay whatever Sorry. you gotta bump that up by about 25 miles and now we talking <laughs> at whatever speed you're going okay there is a part of your car all right that is going forward at zero miles per hour at all times all right, this already got interesting because I I'm, okay. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. There's listen. another part of your car okay. that's going forward at twice that speed at every moment. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, saying. Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, f- All right. Okay. So, okay, you ready? Okay, are you seated? All right. Okay, here okay. we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's all happening in your wheels. So... The part of the wheel at any moment oh my that's God. <laughs> contact with the pavement is not moving at all. That's right. Damn. It's, it, no, if your car were skidding, right. then the part of the wheel in contact with the road would be would moving be, forward. Would be moving forward. At the rate you're skidding forward. But that's why okay? you're moving forward. It's, it's why you're moving forward. It's why forward. you're because, moving forward. Because part of the wheel is not moving at all. Exactly, Correct. because okay. if it were, you'd be spinning in place. That's... You'd be spinning in place. Correct. By the way, okay. Now, you know what, man? You did it again. You did it again. Because <laughs> I'm a let's I'm say. I, I'm no, I, I, I got to say, I, now, I'm, first of all, this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to publicly what? apologize to you for all that shit I was thinking. <laughs> Because I was Before thinking I began. Some, Let me tell you something I was thinking some stuff I'm apologize to you right now Because you were like Alright Chuck We're going to talk about wheels I'm like this brother done lost his damn mind We're going to talk about wheels Seriously okay. You did it Go ahead Let's right. go so for it Let's keep going Let's keep yeah. going So the center of the wheel Right Which is it's spinning, but the exact center is going forward at the same speed the car is. Absolutely. The top of the wheel is going forward at twice the speed of the car. Twice the speed of the car. Just like a- At like, twice the like, speed. Like, right. Wow. Okay. Because notice, if the chassis of the car is moving at the speed of the car, obviously, the top of the wheel is moving faster than the chassis. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's That's moving- it. Past the chat, the, the, chest. the top of the wheel well. The right. wheel well, the top of the wheel well is going forward at your speed, at your speedometer right. speed. The top of the wheel is going faster than that to come around to the bottom so that it's not moving, moving at, all. at all. And if you that, if you run the math on that, you get you get zero at the bottom, the speed of the car in the middle of the wheel, and twice the speed of the car at the top of the wheel. And so this is this is the geometry. The math and the physics of a of an axled wheel on any moving vehicle. What are you okay. doing, Chuck? Chuck, Chuck, so, Chuck is <laughs> Chuck is smoking something. I'm just saying, I'm ready to talk about this all day. <laughs> Chuck is smoking. Okay, but but, but, but wait, there's that, more. That's awesome. That is awesome. But wait, and there's more. So I'm you know when the a dot wheel... at, on the wheel as, and a dot at the chassis, and then it comes yes. up. It has to go faster than faster, the top. Faster. It has to go faster. Uh, so it could uh, come than the around. top of the wheel. Well, that's right. So that it can come around. Correct. So now, Damn. now think of the wheel that's on a train. There's the metal flat part that touches the the metal rails. 
But then there's another part. It's like a coupler. There's an outer part that extends outside of the track. Can you picture this? It's yeah, not it's like just rolling lip. on a track. Yeah, it's it looks like, like a lip. Like a lip on the it's wheel a, itself. A lip that extends outside of the track, right. which enables the train to stay on the, on track. the track. Otherwise, it will just drive off, right? So th these lips that are exterior to the wheels keep the train aligned on the track. Right. But here's what's interesting. They dip below the contact point of the wheel and the rail. Correct. That by a little bit, by whatever it is, they dip below. Well, if the top of your wheel is going twice the speed, the center of the wheel is going the speed, the bottom of the wheel is going zero, anything lower than the bottom of the wheel is moving backwards. Oh, snap. <laughs> That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's going in reverse. It's going reverse. It's going so for a any train, there are parts of that train that are moving backwards on the track at all times. That's that's pretty wild. Just picture that. You know, there's the wheel rolling. Right. The part that's below, below the contact the, point right. is moving backward. It actually lands in a place behind where it started. Right. That means it moved backwards. That's right. That's insane. That's so insane. I just thought I'd put that out there. I know it's not uh, nothing deeper than that. It's the just, next time well, I more... tie up a woman and put her on the tracks, I'm going to let her know that this <laughs> you're going to learn something. <laughs> this is what you do, Chuck, okay? <laughs> As I twirl my mustache. <laughs> now, here's something interesting. Are you ready? Go for it. So that means there's a part of your car that's right. going at all speeds from zero up to twice the speed of the car, correct? That's right. Okay, so imagine this. Imagine attaching some device to your wheel that sends out a microwave signal and you can adjust it up or down, okay? From mm -hmm. the center of the wheel to the outer rim and sends out, uh, or, or from the center of the wheel to the bottom, sends out a microwave signal that will report a speed of your car at any speed you choose. So the police officers there with the radar gun, oh. with the return signal that's going 30 miles an hour, even though you're going 60, they'll get the reflected signal off of your car, right? But if you can override that with a more powerful signal sent from your wheels, you can broadcast any speed you choose down to zero if it's that's attached to the wheel. Right. That's the speed I'm choosing, by the way. <laughs> well, you can't do zero because they know you're lying. Well, but that's that's, if, if that's any, what I'm any, any place be, <laughs> any place between the center of the wheel and the bottom. Bottom of the wheel. It will. You can broadcast a speed of that spinning wheel at any speed less than your actual driving speed. To configure this would be really weird, and how to make that happen because it has to be moving with the tire. I don't know how you would design the engineering of that, but it's just something to think about because there's always a part of your car that's going everywhere from the speed of your car down to zero and up to twice the speed of the car. Well, maybe, That's you know, all. when the cop pulls you over, you can just tell him, I don't know what speed you recorded, but uh, it, I don't know. You should have been looking at the bottom of my wheels. You... <laughs> yeah, that'll work in court. <laughs> <laughs> So that's all I have to say about wheels. That was um, pretty damn good. I mean, sorry, pardon my language. That was pretty doggone good. Uh, that I, now I, there's I, an I, completely surprised, taken taken aback by this one. Yeah, and there's another kind of wheel, which is the shape of the object that rotates within a Wankel engine. So if you imagine an equilateral triangle, but right. curve the corners of it and make the sides a little bit convex, right? So yeah, it's a triangle. I, I had a Mazda once. <laughs> oh, you did? Was it a, with a Wankel engine? Yeah, okay. I had a Mazda. So, <clears throat> so that shape, interestingly, the distance from the bottom to the top right. remains the same no matter how it's oriented. Right. So if you roll it along the, uh, uh, if you, I made one of these shapes. In fact, I don't have one with me here. We might have to do another we, explainer. We used to call the, them spirographs when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, yeah. They're, so they're, they're related. They're related geometry to it. So if you take a plank and place it on top of one of these 
triangular shapes and roll it, the plank will be absolutely steady. Right. Even though it looks like the thing is bobbing up and down. It's exactly. because there's no central axle to it. Right. Okay, we think a wheel needs, a wheel that gives you a smooth ride needs one central axle because a wheel is the same distance to each point on the rim. You can design a shape where the top is always the same distance from the bottom, even though the center is moving in your spirographian sort of way. Nice. So I actually built one of these when I was a kid in, in woodshop in seventh grade. And I don't think it's with me here. That is it's in wild. a closet somewhere. I'm going to have to dig it up and we'll do another one. Just fun things to do with with a Wankel engine. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's an unfortunate name, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's a little weird. It is a little weird. Yeah. But it's one of the many engines that have been developed over the years to convert uh, chemical energy into kinetic energy. I know. We'll do a, an explainer just on engines and the history of engines. Oh, that's a great one. Why they differ from each other and where they're headed. That, that That's a good one. That is uh, a good one. And now you know that part of your car it ain't moving at all. But don't use that as the excuse when you get pulled over. That's, that's, <laughs> that's it. Or don't experiment with how the cop will react if you give that as an excuse. Right. Uh, you don't want <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chuck. We got to call it quits there. All right. Uh, it's been another it. explainer. This one just on wheels, in case you never knew. Uh, Chuck, always good to have you there. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson here for Star Talk. Keep looking at it.